Welcome back to another episode of Mastering Maven. Maven is the iOS app that adds features for DJI drones that are not available in the native DJI app. Today we're going to be covering a virtual geofence. So what's a geofence? The virtual geofence allows you to create a polygon around an area and contain the drone within that area. So to begin, I'm going to press the geofence button, the new VPG or virtual polygon geofence button. And from here, I'm going to press the gear and we're going to do some basic housekeeping. Let's give it a name. We'll call it test. And here you can control the parameters of the geofence. You can start with the max pitch roll inclination defaults to 15 degrees. You can set a max altitude defaults to 70 meters. Let's drop that down. And you can set a minimum altitude. It defaults to zero. And let's go ahead and push that up. Just for demonstration purposes, we'll set that at 15 meters, 49 feet. You can also set the max vertical speed and the max yaw rotation. We'll go ahead and slow the max yaw down. Now I'll touch the gear to make that go away and let's zoom in on the area we want to focus on. For this demonstration, we're going to do a very small geofence just to demonstrate the capabilities. All right, let's start building the geofence. Long press to set the first point. Long press for another point, you end up with a line. Long press again, you see the geofence starting to take shape. Long press again, and now we've got a basic geofence. Using the arrows up at the top, I can scroll through the points on the geofence. Touch the gear, and you can use the arrows to fine tune the points of your geofence. Now you notice the plus between the long edges of the geofence there. I can touch those, hold them, and drag, and we'll add a new point. Do it again, and again, and now we get a polygon shape. Let's go ahead and save that, and now we're ready to fly. Okay, we've got the drone in the air. We're inside the geofence. I'm going to go ahead and tap the map to change the view to geofence view so we can see the drone a little clearer inside the geofence. You see in the lower left hand corner of the screen where the maximum altitude we set on the geofence and even though I'm trying to raise the drone it won't go up because we're at the max geofence altitude. As I start descending that warning goes away and when we reach the bottom, the lower limit, you get the minimum geofence altitude warning and the drone won't descend any further. I'm going to scoot sideways to center it up in the geofence. You see the triangle that shows your direction of travel. And now as we start moving forward, you see on the left hand side that we're approaching the edge of the geofence and it gives us a distance in feet till we reach the end. We get to the end of the geofence. The drone stops and won't continue outside of the geofence. And for demonstration purposes, let's fly to the other end of the geofence. You see the triangle shows the direction of travel and where the drone is looking for the geofence. It slows down a little as we come through this pinch point. And as we reach the other end of the geofence, the drone stops and won't continue out and smack into that tree. Now, one thing to note when you're in a geofence, if you change the flight mode, it will disable the geofence. And any mode change is going to disable it. 
to get back into the geofence mode, I'm going to have to go back, touch the three dots, select geofence, select my geofence, and it activates it again and we're back in business. Additionally, if you press the return to home, you'll get a warning. And once you activate that, it's going to disable the geofence and the drone will return to home. So that's been the Maven app virtual geofence. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you feel I've earned it, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you very much for your time.